sometimes there are things that we will go through in life and we will question our existence. Sometimes we go through tough times. Sometimes we go through weird things in life, whether it's sickness, whatever it is. Sometimes you keep on applying, want a job, you're not getting a job. You're looking for opportunities and nothing is happening. And all the doors that you keep knocking, you keep knocking on doors, you keep knocking. And the doors are, it's like the moment you start to even knock, that is when the doors keep closing. You see the door open from afar and you want to get into those doors and you want to break through. But then the moment you get closer, the door keeps narrowing and keeps closing the more. You start a business, the moment you have, you get a small money and start a business. That is where that sickness comes and it takes all the money away. The moment you get a new job, something happens and you are not able to fulfill that. You have a visa, but you can't even get tickets to go and create opportunities for you. Those moments, I want you to know, it simply tells you to get closer to God and keep on praying and believing that something good is going to happen. Don't let the things that you're going through stop you. There was a time at 3 a.m. someone sent me a message and the person told me that he wanted to commit suicide. At that time, what will I do? I was fortunate I woke up, used the washroom and I saw this message and I was on phone with that person from 3 a.m. And this was someone that I, I just knew that person on Facebook. I had not even physically met that person. But because my number was there, this person sent me this message and told me that this was what I was planning. I was shocked and I didn't know where to get that person. So I had to engage the person on phone for close to three good hours. Told the person why you need to leave, why you need to create opportunities. And among the things I asked, I asked, is your mother still alive? And the person said, yes. And I said, that is the, one of the reasons why you don't need to commit suicide. You need to stay on this earth and make it, and make it for your mother. If you're not even going to do it for you, do it for your mother. Do it for your brothers. Do it for your sister. If you have a wife, do it for your wife. If you have a husband, do it for your husband. If you don't have any of them, do it for your community and do it for Allah. Make sure you succeed and make it for people that are not able to talk, people that will need your services. And I told this person for three good hours, I engaged the person from three o'clock to 6 a.m. I was on phone with this person. And all I just wanted to see, all I just wanted to do is, I just wanted to get that opportunity to meet this person when day breaks. So I engaged the person until I was able to get the details of where he is, met him in person, I sacrificed my day for him. Later, what I did was got to know some people in the community and I informed them that this is what he was planning, but he's going to get over it. So they should keep watch of that person. Three days. He didn't talk about that, but he was still going through depressed it. The third day, he bought a lot of different drugs, went into his room, locked, and he wanted to, from what they told me, that because they were watching him, he never knew that I informed them. But I also kept on calling him. And that third day, I didn't call him because I was so busy. He went into his room, he bought a lot of drugs, wanted to kill himself. Fortunately, those people were monitoring, and they had to rush into his room and saw a lot of pile, a pile of those things that he bought and were able to rescue him. Life is worth living. We will die anyway one day. But until our time, suicide is never an option. Never think about suicide. Work on yourself. Do it for you. If you have a brother, if you have a sister, if you have your mother is still alive, your father is still alive, do it for somebody. If you don't even want to succeed for you, do it for the community. And that is why we keep on waking up. I don't wake up to just search for money, no. I wake up to do it for my family. I wake up to do it for people who I love. And all the people I mentor, I wake up thinking that how can I make them better? How can I create opportunities for them? How can I let you know about red clay? How can I let you see all the opportunities, all the potentials? That is what you should be looking for. You may go through a lot. I'm telling you that you still have a lot to do in life. 
So go out, make a difference. Go out, show up with power. Show up with strength and know that it's possible. Because I believe in you. If no one tells you that you are beautiful, if no one tells you that you are handsome, I am going to tell you, you're beautiful. <laughs> you are handsome. And you have all it takes to make a difference. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you do. But I know you have what it takes to make a difference. So go out there and make a difference. It's raining. I need to stop this. But I want you to know, just like the rain comes, it keeps coming. God wants you to know that you can still grow. There are a lot of opportunities. The rain is coming. That will not mean you should stop. It tells you that God is still keeping watch over you. He's still giving you opportunities. He's still giving you water to drink and make it possible. I believe in you. I believe that you will make it and you will make me proud. Anytime you think about anything bad, reach out to me. Let's do more. You can also share this. You can also sponsor so that we can be able to reach out to many people. This is the I Am Masterclass today. And I want you to know that you are the best. You are the greatest. And you have what it takes to make a difference. Step up to lead. Step up to create more opportunities. Thank you very much. I believe in you. And may God richly bless you.